Yeah, what do you think of this this love size, like love triangle? It's well, because as the series goes on, I feel like Blair always seems to have a soft spot for Nate, um, up to a point until she's really into Chuck. But it's like Blair is into Nate, but Nate is into Serena, and Serena could care less about Nate. It seems, or not care. I mean, sh- they have like almost romances here and there throughout the series, but she's always preoccupied with some like douchebag. Mm-hmm. Or like some politician, for example, who's already married. You know, she's always yes. like making these poor choices where I'm like, dude, like Nate's right there. Like, why would you pass up on Nate? So it's like aggravating, but it's also like, I feel like Nate deserves better. I also feel like Blair deserves better. Truly. Serena, I don't know what she deserves. <laughs> I mean, you know what I mean? I just feel like she's very careless with her choices sometimes and how they could affect people. And so there's that. And it's. I don't know. But I always feel really bad for Nate because... True. Justice for Nate Archibald. Yeah, justice for Nate. Like, Was Serena Vanderwood's in the like OG main character syndrome like do Lulu <laughs> gal of the internet today? I think so, yeah. Probably. Yeah. yeah. She does kind of just come in like the Tasmanian devil and just like leave like everything just obliterated and destroyed. 